So, guys, I want to talk to you about something that I think might just take your breath away. But you're going to have to listen to me very, very closely. I know you think you can sink one and then drive. But what I want to know is, how far can you sink? No. <laughs> what about failing a breathalyzer test? Or getting arrested? No? Not doing it for you? OK, then. Having to call your mum and dad and tell them you're in a police cell? Does that grab your attention? What about losing your license? Losing your job? <laughs> losing your girlfriend? <laughs> and if that's not enough, then you end up feeling a little bit like a loser. <laughs> and of course, you'll become a learner driver again. And all those mates you're having a great laugh with, well, they'll be having a great laugh at you. Yes, I nearly forgot. You'll have a criminal record. So put those travel plans on ice because some countries might not even let you in and all your mates will be heading off without you. So guys, if you think you can sink one and then drive, how far can you really sink? So you see, lads, it's never safe to take a drink and drive. Any alcohol increases your risk of crashing. <laughs>